Hello, and welcome to the Healthy with Heather Brown Summer Series. I'll be counting down to season three by sharing fan favorite episode replays, plus a mini episode or two. If you're listening to this in real time, it's summer 2023, and I'm resharing the top five episodes from seasons one and two as we get excited for season three launching on Tuesday, July 25th. To celebrate summer, I'm giving a shop-wide sale on all my eBooks and video course products. You can use code SUMMER for 40% off at mylifewellloved.com backslash ebook. Happy shopping, y'all. Now is the perfect time to stock up on meal planning resources and my video course for the school year. Just saying. Now, if you're feeling the need for community this summer, come join us for the health challenge of the month, where I'll be giving exclusive live coaching, workout videos, and my one-of-a-kind method for Sunday resets. I'll link it in the show notes below. Okay, mama, you are about halfway through the summer right now. How are we feeling? How are we doing? Really, it is so wild how some people, though, get out so early for the summer and then other parts of the country, we get out later. I know that my kids get out even a week apart, so I'm curious just to hear how y'all are feeling this summer so far. If you don't mind doing me a huge favor and headed down to the review section and leaving us a five-star review here on the podcast and leaving a comment telling me how your summer's going and maybe what future topics you'd like to see to help me make your summer and fall a little bit easier. I would absolutely love to hit on those things for you, especially in the marriage corner with my other half, the hilarious Eric Brown. Shout out. So all that said, you know, my boys were both born in August So I don't know why I didn't learn my lesson the first time that it's miserable to be pregnant all during the hottest months of the year in the South. But, you know, I did it twice. So there you have it. So some of you may or may not know this, but I was on the Birth Hour podcast and I got to share my story over there about having Leighton and Finn and the differences between those pregnancies and then my postpartum depression, my fourth degree tear. I mean, like we really get in the nitty gritty of like talking about where the epidural took and didn't take for me, how I almost missed my window to get an epidural with one of the boys. I didn't even know that that was a thing when I first became a mom. So that was quite the shock to the system. But needless to say, if you want to hear all those stories, I will link that episode down in the show notes. so You can check it out. I also shared some of my journey with postpartum depression in my very first episode of this podcast. So if you want to go back and scroll to the very beginning, you can listen to that tale. And woo, let me tell you, it was a doozy. And kind of what inspired me to start this podcast and really was the turnkey in my journey of life and understanding whole health. I would love for you guys to listen to that. And I will link that in the show notes as well. But since it is the summer. We are getting ready to celebrate both boys' birthdays again and do all the fun summer activities. We are debating between whether to go with a pool party again for both boys or whether we should do something like at a jumping place or gymnastics place. So if you have any really great raving reviews of things that you've done for your boys' birthday parties that went over super well and kept everybody entertained and happy, please DM me on Instagram and I am taking any and all tips. I will say that one of our favorite birthday parties we ever did, and it just happened out like kind of crazy because it was a slip and slide party, but it turned out pouring rain that day. So it ended up becoming like a little boy's mud wrestling haven birthday party. And I mean, the pictures from that thing are epic. My hair is also frizzy as a lion's mane, as you might be able to imagine. So anyway, so many good memories from birthday parties But while I'm on the topic and planning food for their parties as well, I wanted to share a new product that I just curated for you guys for the summer. So I know a lot of times you feel like the meals and the snacks get out of control. OOC, as I often say with my friends during the summer, because it just feels like you're a 24-7 lunchroom that is open for your kids. And it really is unbelievably helpful in just simplifying your processes and also making it fun and teaching your kids about healthy habits. And that's what I really want to empower you guys to do is not just to change your own healthy habits, but to make a really big impact on the little lives that you are touching. I want to be your biggest cheerleader in helping those healthy habits start from a young age and 
that you can really leave a healthy legacy with your kids that will impact generations to come. So if you feel like meals and snacks are really getting kind of crazy in your home and all the healthy options have kind of flown out the window and you're flying by the seat of your pants and it's Chick-fil-A for lunch and then pizza for dinner and then it's popcorn and movie night and then there's treats galore from VVS and everything else and you're just feeling kind of like, whoa, we got to rein it in a little bit here. This is what I am here for. Like literally, this is one of my biggest joys is to provide you guys with tools and meaningful resources. So many of them for free. This one, I am charging a little bit just because I wanted to make it worth me and my team's efforts to get it to really be a useful bundle for you that you can pull out over and over again. So if you're like, yeah, I'm really busy and my kid is picky, congratulations, friend. You are the person that I created this for. It has simple hacks, activities for littles, like coloring pages and all kinds of things about fruits and veggies. It has recipes and my five-step method to revamp your kitchen, as well as a full meal plan that is kid-friendly for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It is the type of things that me and my family eat. If you don't know, I worked at emails.com for many years writing meal plans. And so even though I'm not a registered dietitian, this kind of just a meal guide that you can use and tweak to work really well for your family. And that way you can just print it out and you've got your meal plan done for you this week. So boom, who doesn't love that? Okay, so all that to say, it is linked on my website. You guys can use the coupon code just like always for during the summer to get a really big discount on all of my meal planning products as well as my entrepreneur course for mamas and anything else that's available. So make sure that you take advantage of that. All of it linked in the show notes. You can go to mylifefullove.com backslash ebook and find everything there. But truly, this product is something that I am really proud of and super excited to offer to you guys. It really does just have all the things that some of my friends have told me with older kids they wish that they would have had at their fingertips earlier. In fact, one of my neighbors told me that her 14-year-old daughter said to her, Mom, why did you not teach us how to make healthy choices growing up? Because at this point, I feel kind of lost. And I just think that's something that is so cool that we can prevent our daughters and our boys who are becoming more and more susceptible to the comparison trap of social media to really get them ahead and show them incredible tools that will help them be ready for physical, whole health, sports, all the things so their bodies are fueled well. It can encourage healthy eating with your kids. And it helps you simplify what you're doing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snacks, and to just set those parameters and boundaries in place. The reviews that I've gotten on these printables has been insane. So if you get it and you make the summer meal plan, please, 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 when you're making those recipes, which I promise are simple, I'm like a very simple girl. I want seven ingredients or under. I want 20 minutes or under prep. Take pictures. Tag me on social media. I would love to share them with the whole community. All right. So back to summer birthdays. Since my boys have birthdays that are really close, I end up getting in my feels, all the feels, all the time. August 1 hits and back to school for both boys and their birthdays, it literally hits me like an emotional dump truck. Every year as we celebrate them both getting older, it's like all of a sudden I'm transported back to when they both were laid on my chest for the first time and just that overwhelming sense of just gratitude that the Lord has given me these gifts of life to shepherd. And when you become a first-time mom, I don't know if there's anything greater in the world compared to that feeling of them being laid on your chest for the first time and being like, oh my gosh, like, God, you gave me and my husband this gift. What a powerful moment that is. Hey girl, hey, wanna hang out with me on a video to chat all things health? Of course you do. If you wanna hear what you're probably doing wrong if you hate meal planning, my James Bond level hack for shopping the grocery store, why Fig Newtons are actually my saving grace, and the rest of the steps for my no-fail system, look no further. Just click the link in the show notes to watch my free video workshop that teaches you my secret sauce for saving time and money even while eating healthy. Again, I'm giving you this video training completely completely free. Go ahead and get the videos sent to you at the link in the show notes. So I'm like, I'm going to rein it in because otherwise I will crown the podcast. Not that I hadn't done that before. (laughs) If you've been listening for a while, you know, but it also 
just reminds me of the ways that motherhood has changed me, changed me for the better, changed me in hard ways, but also good ways. You know, I have had to realize with the fourth degree tear and being told by my doctor that I couldn't walk past the mailbox for six weeks. I had to sit on a donut on the couch to watch Dallas Cowboys cheer the leaders, y'all. Like it got real, you know. I struggle with postpartum depression. In hindsight, I think that Leighton had a tongue tie and so he couldn't latch properly. I am not even a cusser. And I am telling you, when he latched on, it was like everything I could do to physically keep cuss words from flying out of my mouth at rapid fire. It was excruciating. My nipples were bloody and like war torn. And then to have something grab back on, it was awful. Like next level pain. And you couple that next level pain with also having the fourth degree tear and also not sleeping and also not being able to exercise, which is how I normally dealt with stress. And it was truly debilitating. I'll never forget the moment when Eric rolled over at 3 a.m. after I'd been up, you know, four or five times already within four or five hours feeding the baby at like week three after Leighton had been born and just sobbing, like bent over this baby on my boob, sobbing. And Eric saying, are you okay? And I was like, I mean, does it look like I'm okay? Obviously not. I am not okay. (laughs) Oh my gosh, it was such a breakthrough moment. Like God let me hit rock bottom so that he could show me that my worth does not come from working out and it doesn't come from being the energizer bunny and it doesn't come from becoming a mom. It comes from him and him alone and he helped me rebuild. I think that what I realized that I was committed to finding new ways to get to the root cause of my spirituality, my physical health, my mental health, because once you're diagnosed with PPD, you're kind of forced to figure that out. So I wanted to figure out what is the root cause of my health issues and how do I focus on an embodied wellness? So what I have learned over the years is that a healthy lifestyle isn't complicated. It actually is very simple, but you have to be willing to get back to the basics And it's also not going to be solved by a magic pill. There is no one size fits all in health. And I think that that's what's really hard for people is people want a quick fix. They want something that is going to immediately give them results and be this transformation story. But the reality is that every person's journey is different. And you have to be willing to find the root cause of what the issue is, find your why, and know without a shadow of a doubt that your confidence comes from the Lord and that he has designed you for whole body health, mentally, physically, and spiritually. And so often we go in our churches and 90% of the sermons are just about spiritual health. Well, God told you he designed your body as a temple. You have to take care of that temple he has gifted you with so that you can be honoring to him with everything that you do with that temple. We read so often in scripture, I quote so much in Luke and in Mark, you know, that the Lord wants us to be strong in our mind, in our body, in our soul, and in our strength. They are not separate things. They are all interconnected. So I'm like, woo, Heather steps down from her soapbox. So I think that what's really, you know, just interesting in me going through this whole process has been that I realized that I wasn't going to wake up one morning postpartum and magically be disciplined with a new workout routine that now worked for me in this broken state. I wasn't going to magically figure out healthy eating in one day. My quiet time with my newborn in tow was definitely not to look different than what I did before. So I sat my freaking booty down one time a week and I planned my non-negotiables for helping me feel like me and to be healthy from the inside out, mentally, physically, and spiritually. So as I did this week after week, I started noticing trends and patterns. And meal planning was always on that list of getting me to a healthy spot. Scheduling my workouts was always on that list. Figuring out, inviting somebody over to have coffee with me or to figure out a date night or date day with Eric was always on that list and completely necessary for my freaking sanity. And then finding a Bible study or a devotional or a small group or something along those lines that I could almost be forced to do my quiet time each week was necessary and on that list. So I was starting to find these things were helping me to build consistency with healthy eating and exercising, consistency with spiritual growth, and so on and so forth. So I made a list of about six things that I always want to plan or check in on during my Sunday reset. 
I know I've got mom brain. Y'all have experienced on this podcast many a time when the words just won't come. And I knew that I would forget that one pivotal piece and throw my whole week off if I did not make myself this system. Now, motherhood, as you've heard me say many times, is an amazing journey. It's a hard journey, but it's an amazing journey. And I often laugh at myself with you guys on Instagram stories about being on the hot mess mama express but how we're looking to get on the looking good locomotive. (laughs) But the truth is that these boys coming into my life caused my perspective to change forever. And I am so thankful for the ways that motherhood is growing me and teaching me. I'm so, so thankful. Like literally, thank you, Jesus. So these boys, they're just my little lights. You know, they put everything into perspective. They help you care more. They help you care deeply. They help rein you back in from those stressful days. They make you want to set a better example in your health, mind, body, and spirit. They make me want to be a better person. And so does Eric. And that is just, I mean, next level. There's no words that I could even string together right now that would put the depth of my love for them in words. And how cool is that? That we have a God that loves us, you and me, bigger than we could ever love our children. That is just one of the most un- fathomable love, so deep, so wide, so long, as the song says, is his love for us. So amen on that. So mama, don't wait until the little years are over with your babies to invest in your health and live your life to the fullest with them. I want to encourage you in that today and every dang day that I'm here on this earth. I believe that's my calling in life. And I think that sometimes the simple things are do, are what brings us the biggest joy. It is one of my biggest joys to get to cheer you on, to settle for your best, not what the world is saying is the best. What is your best? What is your family's best? What are you called to? And is it the best? Yes. Are you overstressing yourself? Are you shooting your cortisol levels up? Are you overbooking your calendar? Are you striving for work goals that actually don't serve you? Do they serve you, mind, body, and spirit? And if they don't, trash them. I'm here to tell you that hard truth right now. You are better than that. And God has called you to look different in the world. So let's be a light and get out there today with this positive and weirdly, wildly wacky different way of looking at the world and not be so driven by the chaos and the stress of life. I am preaching to myself right now because I need to hear it myself. Thank you, Jesus. You give us freedom, Lord, like you give us freedom. So I want to encourage you with that today. I will sign off, but don't forget to grab that summer meal planning pack to help take one thing off your plate today and the rest of the summer, and you'll get that one week of healthy and kid-friendly meal ideas, plus a guide to restocking your kitchen with healthy and cleaning essentials for meal planning all summer long. And I didn't forget, of course, to add activities to teach your kids about healthy eating while they're home with you this summer. And with that said, I'm going to close this in prayer. Dear God, thank you so much for each of these women that have tuned in today. Thank you for the heart that you have for us as your children, Lord. Thank you for loving us more than we could ever love our own children. Thank you for the beauty of summer and the slower pace that it brings and the less activities and the less just structure, God. How cool that you give us a season where we can really rest if we embrace it. Help us to trust you, Lord, that you will multiply our efforts in our kitchen and in our homes and in our work and in our relationships, Lord. Please just multiply those in front of us. Help other people to see a difference in us. And God, I just ask that you would bless every single woman listening to this. And with that, in your name we pray, amen. Hey, hey, if you're loving the show, click that follow button on your podcast app. This will ensure you won't miss a single episode. I'll see you next time.